Now, late last night, Regeneron's antibody drug, which was administered to President Trump when he had coronavirus, got an emergency use authorization from the FDA. It is now the second such drug to gain emergency use authorization. One from Eli Lilly gained approval earlier this month. Here to talk more about Regeneron is Dr. William Hartman from the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health. He is the principal investigator for this clinical trial. Dr. Hartman, thanks for making the time for us tonight. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So what does this emergency authorization mean for the average person? What kind of timeline are we looking at? And will there be enough to go around? Well, in, at least initially, there won't be enough to go around. Uh, we're talking probably 80,000 doses by the end of this month, 200,000 doses by the end of the year. So enough to take care of some of uh, the people most at risk of developing severe disease, but not enough to uh, cover what we need to, get, to help get this pandemic under control. So without getting too in the weeds here for the, for the average person like me, describe how this treatment works. Sure, so th this is a combination of two very potent, very strong antibodies that attack that spike protein that sticks out of the virus. By binding to it, it prevents the virus from being able to, to bind and enter the cells. It really just stops the virus in its tracks. That's a good explanation, actually. I, I think I understand it. So last month, Regeneron halted testing in severely sick hospitalized, hospitalized patients because of a safety concern. So is it true that monoclonal antibodies can actually make severely ill hospitalized patients sicker? I don't think it, it makes them sicker. I just don't think that there is enough of a benefit uh, at that point. When the, the patients get to that point where the, uh, they're intubated, uh, their, their lungs are filled with pneumonia. The, the virus has already kind of gone out of control. And by then it may be too late to intervene with uh, antibody treatment like the monoclonals or like convalescent plasma. These are much more effective when you use them early in disease. So where can we expect uh, to see this being used first in the next few months? Well, the, the EUA is going to allow for uh, this drug to be administered and distributed to hospitals and, and to patients all over the country. Uh, so we're, we're very excited that it's no longer a requirement that you have to be part of a clinical trial, that this is going to be available at free of cost at that uh, to, the, to the average American. It is really great news. So many people have been waiting for this the world over. Um, are there any concerns though that people are becoming complacent now that we have this good news on the vaccine front and we have good news about a treatment like this that sometimes people might think this is the cure all and let their guard down? I think that that's a the million dollar question. And we do caution against complacency. Uh, we're not there yet. We're, we're, we're seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, but it's still a very long tunnel. And so we still have to wear a mask. We still have to wash our hands. We still have to socially distance, uh, being outside more than inside and avoiding large crowds. These are the mitigation methods that we know can work to, to help keep this virus under control. We have to continue to do all those. And I know in your state in Wisconsin, the hospitals are, are getting overrun as well. What is your advice to people watching this who are making plans for Thanksgiving to gather with family and to travel? Well, we're recommending against doing that this year. Uh, this is a, a holiday that we want to be with our families, but we also want to keep everybody safe. We don't want to, to bring anything into to grandma's house or to your parents' house that could make them sick or, or, or make them ill. And so we're asking people to, to assess the risk, understand the risk, uh, and stay close to home this year. Dr. William Hartman, great work. Congratulations, and thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much.